With practice at exercise 5.7 Dysum, we are going to write a method named Dysum. It's going to prompt the user for desired input. And so let's start with that. We are going to have a public static, and we're going to just have a void because it's not returning anything, only printing. We have our name, not passing anything in here. So this is our header. Um, we know we need to take user input. And whenever we use user, user input, we're going to use a scanner. So we're going to do scanner. We're going to call this input and set it equal to a new scanner. We're inside the parameters. We take a system dot in, and then we can end this line. After this, we know we are going to have to print this out. So we will do a system dot out dot print line inside of here. We will just print this out. And um, actually, because we want the user input to be on the same line, we are not going to use the LN, we're just going to do print. And so we need to get the user input. That means we need to store this in an integer. We'll do int sum is equal to, and we'll just say inputs dot next int. That way we get the next integer and we store it inside of here. Now it's going to repeatedly roll a two sided dice until the sum is the desired sum. So we are going to make a new sum. I'm going to call this int sum. We're not going to initialize it yet. We can see that even when we find our value right here, we still print it out. And so that means we are probably going to check our condition after our loop iterates or after our block of code iterates, which is perfect for a do while loop. So inside of here, we'll have do, have our brackets, come down here, and then we're going to have while. And this is going to run while our lowercase sum, so this is the user input sum, does not equal to our uppercase sum. And I cut this backwards. This should be a lowercase int and an uppercase sum like this. That way we don't confuse anything. We're not going to initialize it. We're just declaring it here. We know we need two random numbers that we are going to have to update. And so we can make a random or an instance of the random class. We're going to do random. We're going to call it random and set it equal to a new random. And then we can end this line. And we know that we need two random values here. So we are also going to make the values R1 and R2 for a random one and a random two. And that's going to be the two different dice right here. So inside of here, we know that we are going to have to print these values. And um, we're going to print them. We're also going to need to update our sum. So fairly simple. I think we can do that all in a few lines of code, really. So we're going to have system.out.print line. And then inside of here, we know that we need to print out our first random. So we're going to do r1 dot, or I'm sorry, r1 is equal to random dot next int. And that'll give us the next int. Now we know that inside of here, we want to start at one because it's a six sided dice. It's going to go from one to six. So we're going to do one plus six in here. And if you don't know how the random class works is a how to video, you can just search that on the main page of the channel. Pretty good stuff, but that's how this would work. Um, oh, sorry. Um, this needs to be declared outside because I don't believe we can declare it inside of here. So we'll just leave it as it is now and we'll see how it won't work because uh, I guess it should be declared outside. So we're going to just copy this and we are going to paste it after we append an and like this. And then we are going to append this, except we're going to change this to R2. And then from here, we're going to do a plus. This is just appending. Uh, we are going to have an equal sign in here. And then we are going to have whatever our sum is. And so we are just going to have some like this. And then we can end this line. So this is going to be the code. Now, again, it's not going to work because we are setting these equal to what's inside of here. We haven't even updated the sum. So instead of running it and showing that it doesn't work, uh, we should also end this line and end our function after this. Instead of running it and showing it doesn't work, what I'm just going to do is make it work. And I'm going to take this and put it out here. I'm going to take this and put it out here. Just like this. And then we can end both of these lines, just like we kind of got new key caps, so it's a little hard to type, just like this. And we are going to have R1, and we're going to have our R2. 
And then we need to update our sum. So sum is just going to be equal to R1 plus our R2. And then we can end this line. So we this is very simple, right? We get the user input, and then we are going to compare it in this do while loop. We make a random value, and then we make these values right here. And so we're going to set R1 and R2 equal to some two random numbers, and then we're going to add them together to store in our sum. This is what we're going to be comparing. And then we're just printing out these values here. Very, very easy. And every time this do while loop runs, it's going to generate two new random numbers for us to add to and then compare to the user number that's passed in. We've passed four out of four tests. And that's it for this practice data exercise 5.7.